draft, do you think, uh, uh, are they just going to get best available player? Are they looking for a certain kind of player because Beeline's now the coach? I think that's a good question, Jim. I think um, because of the situation that the Cavs are in, because they're so early into this rebuild, I think obviously fit matters, but but they're going to look for talent and they're going to put their faith in John that he's going to be willing um, and able to get these guys to fit in any type of situation. So their trust is in him that he's going to get the most out of any of these guys and find a way to make the pieces fit. So when you're picking this early into your rebuild and you've got the fifth overall pick, it's hard for me to say, yeah, they're not going to take a point guard because Colin Sexton is on the roster, or they're not going to take X player because Jetty Osman is considered a core piece of this future. They just need as much talent as possible, and they feel like they have a coach that's going to make it work regardless. Your mock draft up on the, on the screen, obviously uh, Zion Williamson, uh, number one, he'll go to New Orleans. Then you got you got Memphis, you go with John Morant uh, from uh, Murray State, then New York with uh, R.J. Barrett from Duke, the Lakers, Darius Garland, uh, the guard from Vanderbilt. Then you go in the fifth spot with the Cavaliers, and it's Cam Reddish of uh, forward out of Duke. What What is your thought on Reddish? There are just so many people in the NBA, and I think some within the organization less, that, that feels like Cam went to Duke at a time where he thought uh, he was going to be the ballyhooed recruit, the centerpiece of Duke, and things were going to be a lot different than they turned out to be, because he committed at a time that Zion Williamson wasn't there, R.J. Barrett wasn't there, so a lot of the stuff... Um, with Cam, the bad numbers, the inconsistency, disappearing from games and stuff like that. There are people that feel like um, that was more of a situation than representative of him and his talent. And there are people that now feel like in the NBA game with more space, a better system, maybe him more of a focal point, he's going to be better. And he's that typical three and D type guy that all teams are looking for. He can guard one through four. He can switch onto bigger guys because he's got a longer wingspan. There are just so many people that feel like his game is better suited for the NBA. Uh, now, that's banking on a lot of stuff, right? He's the guy who looks the part. He has looked the part. He's been part of Team USA basketball since he was 14 years old. So he's been in the spotlight, and everybody has always said, oh, Cam Reddish, looks the part of a 3 and D guy. Cam Reddish looks the part of an all-star wing at the NBA level, and he's never played to that level. And I think it's going to be really, really important for the Cavs and other teams less to figure out why that is. Is that just who he is, a guy who disappoints? He looks the part but disappoints? Or is it because circumstances dictated that, and in the NBA, like some people believe, it is going to be a different situation for Cam Reddish? But eventually... Don't you have to show it on the court rather than just have people believe in you constantly because of how you look? Sounds right to me. 